Kinetic Energy Equations for Mass and Speed by casescience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So we're trying to work out the speed, v. So to work out v, we firstly need to cover v squared. So we're currently working out v squared at the moment. So v squared equals kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times mass. So v squared equals kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times mass. So v squared equals kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times mass. So now substitute in the numbers. Kinetic energy is 2 joules. You divide 2 joules by 0 0.5 times 0 0.09 kilograms. That will give you a v squared of 44.4. V squared isn't your answer. So you need to square root 44.4 and that will give you V. So V equals the square root of 44.4. That gives you a speed for this snail of <laughs> that gives you a speed for this snail of 6.6 .6 meters per second, which is clearly unrealistic. So we're trying to calculate speed V. So you cover V and you're left with V squared equals kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times mass. So you substitute in the numbers. V squared equals 20,000 joules of stored kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times 500 kilograms. So V squared equals 80. V squared is not your speed. So to work out the speed, you must square root 80. So V equals the square root of 80. So V equals 8.4 meters per second. That is the speed. V squared equals 40,000 joules divided by 500 kilograms times 0 0.5. That gives you V squared. V squared equals 160. So to calculate V, you must square root 160. So the square root of 160 is 12.6 meters per second. V equals 12.6 meters per second. V squared is not your speed. You must always remember to square root it. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. You can really easily rearrange for M. So you cover M and m will equal kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times v squared. m will equal kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times v squared. So now you can substitute in the numbers. Kinetic energy here is 10,000 joules divided by 0 0.5 times the speed 20. But remember, it's 20 squared. M equals 10,000 divided by 0 0.5 times 20 squared, which gives you a mass of 50 kilograms. So remember to cover M and you're left with mass equals kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times V squared, which means that you can now substitute in the numbers 10,000 joules kinetic energy divided by 0 0.5 times the speed 10. But remember it's V squared, so it's going to be 10 squared. So mass equals 10,000 divided by 0 0.5 times 10 squared, which gives you a mass of 200 kilograms. Mass equals kinetic energy stored divided by 0 0.5 times V squared. Substitute in the numbers 20,000 joules divided by 0 0.5 times 10 squared gives you a mass of 400 kilograms. So the car has a mass of 400 kilograms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.